or good measure. To give you access to. I just get off work, so I'm having my soup. That was temporary because of um, nesting, but we got enough people out of nesting that I no longer need to help with nesting. A regular old person who was taking care of nesting and did the nesting on his own. Yep. Perfect timing. <laughs> That has nothing to do with what we're doing. We're here. All right. Put this show in the road. The button has already been hit. But now we're over on to, to the screen. We're seeing some marching orders. And welcome everybody to Bears and Dragons, where a bunch of us nerdy ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Thank you. I appreciate it. Considering the original source from that hasn't really had that in the past few weeks for some reason. Yeah, I think that's all they've had so far. Five? I think five is tonight, is it? Now I gotta look. Am I behind? Five. We've only had five episodes. Okay, so. May I am caught. Yeah. yeah, while we're doing this. <laughs> For all of you who are not watching Critical Role, here we are. Uh, so previously, uh, what happened previously? I believe you were trying to on your way to never never like grove to take school home your young little mikanid friend
right. Do I all wake up in the morning having a nice rest? And ready to continue on your journey. Home of the dwarves, the uh, the Durgaur. Uh, but about a month. I mean, you don't have to, but it helps. Like water? Don't worry, when see once we get to the Grackles, still we'll have all the ale we, we can have. Although there are bits of mighty bastards, as Eldith or Dwarven, little Dwarven ally. Sure. Man, it tastes exactly like the rum you remembered, but it goes down so, so smoothly. Oh, 
motherfucker. You feel the burn, but it's mind over matter, I suppose. Go ahead and roll me a con, roll me a con save. Yeah, you're, you're doing okay. It kind of feels, it feels right, but. That, that, nothing seems to have changed. You've still got this like aching headache as if you're missing something. Particularly the alcohol. All right. Need everybody roll me a perception check as you travel through the vast caverns and tunnels. On your sheet, there's yep. I sold sixteen. Yeah, uh, right. Yay. Uh, right now, uh, Gage, you are currently unconscious. Uh, can it, did Holly roll? Holly did roll. Holly doesn't notice. Uh, but Roderick, you're, you're near the front. You, you definitely know this. And Lassiter kind of hears it. You f hear a familiar clink of chain mail, uh, up ahead in the tunnels. Coming in this direction. Somewhere over here. Uh, I would say about 10 feet. Kind of a clustered caravan, cavern. Okay. And uh, Roderick, you see a group of drow uh, carrying a uh, human. Uh, it looks like uh, they've got a bag which has some clinks, which probably has their equip the equipment for this strip to a small clothes human.
And as you turn the, as Holly turns the quarter with her, she has a sword or an axe? I can't remember. Great axe. Out, she comes charging out. Bubbly hair. And we roll initiative. Rolls there. The we missing anybody here? I added you. You have to click on your token before you roll. Um, make sure you have it selected, and that should show up. And don't check uh Roderick's. Oh. What's his name, Vision? Yeah, I gave her five feet. <laughs> there. Better. And it is, there is some light in here. Uh, from, from bioluminescent rooms. So the gym jar says, uh, I'll, st I'll stay back with, with stool here. Well, that's going to join you and Ront is going to sulk in the back because nobody else is moving out of his way. Still come remnant running up. All right. Boop. Drow. Just gonna come up in a V shape. And more of kind of like a protection, a protective barrier. They're doing the flying V. Leaf. Everybody else ran up. Her <laughs> uh, Holly. Holly, Roderick, Lassiter, and Eldith started charging down the tunnel uh, uh, with the report after hearing the report of some drow.
No, it's the blue one in the front. Uh, I believe you have 30 feet. Ah, uh, well, let's see. Uh, you can move through people. It's just the uh, kind of, I mean, technically Roderick's on the ceiling. So you could move into Roderick's square. There you go. If you right click on the map, you can drag it around. Depending on your thing, you might be able to use. Okay. Plus, we get the get the uh, scroll bars too. All right, Flasher. Why did I roll well? <laughs> It doesn't upscale, so. He's in the back blocked by uh, the rest of the party. He was he was the rear guard. You hear hear from the back. I'm in the back. Anyways. Roderick. Twenty five. Anything still happen or
Okay. So he kind of ducks your arms. Your extra arms. Blocks away with his shield. All right. Something I missed because the ceiling's 10 feet up. But that's the ceiling. I assume you're larger than, taller than five feet. These guys are also about six feet, so I would say that you are still technically within adjacent squares. The uh, initial draw were like, what? And didn't do it, take a tax of opportunity. <laughs> right. They were a bit surprised. Not the surprise condition, but a bit surprised. Uh, so he's going to make two attacks with his short sword. Oop. Yeah, there we go. Take a uh, ten piercing and twenty-two poison damage. Uh, with the fall, with the fall, uh, take also one death saving throw. Uh, he easily uh, jumps out of the way as you fall down. Could have, maybe he takes his shoe to kind of like push you off to the side. All right, Syrah. For everyone. All right. First one uh, makes it. And I'm just going to do left to right, top to bottom. Yeah, one. Fails. There you go. Still fails. Uh, critically succeeds. Succeeds. You said 15, right? 
succeeds, succeeds, fails. What happens under fail? I got enough. I got all of them. Yeah, first one made it. Two, three, four. Hopefully, they're using them up. I don't know. It's just the dice. Holly's turn. Haley. Well, I wasn't corrected when I kept saying Holly last time. Rawr, bubbles. Makes it. Takes half damage. Shot goes out, but the uh, Drow dodges, uh, but it still kind of nicks him. It's hits like it's flick, but then goes immediately into the ground. Ah! Mm hmm. Perfect. Yep. She uh, she bubbly comes out, and it seems like um, a shock of lightning shoots off, and then it seems like this wave of water kind of washes over the uh, uh, the axe as it basically slices the head off the draw. All right. Hold this turn. That order on it. Here you go.
Let's go run over here. They're attacking us. Short sword. Miss, but hits. And the draw's turn. So we'll do the two. First one. Oh, that's a hit. deck save. The deck save, or is it a strength save to get out? Oh, gotcha. All right, so, so we'll, this one uses uh, action to get out of the web. This one uses his action to get out of the web. Uh, first one is tries to move, but gets restrained. Oh, is a strike check to to get out. Oh, to make a strike deck. Okay, so the first one still succeeded with the 20. Uh, second one, who was already restrained, got a 17, which I'm assuming that succeeds. Uh, the, we got one failed save. That's a success. Another one. Success. This one's going to come over here to get out of the web. Or actually, no, he's not because he got restrained. This one's going to come over here to get out of the web. Going to come over here to get out of the web. Going to come over here to get out of the web. And this one's going to here to get out of the web. All right. So one of them's restrained. We got four that are still up, so we got one attacking Hall, uh, Haley uh, with the miss. Oh, actually, this one's attacking Eldith. Sorry. Now they're attacking Haley. Holly. Haley. Yes. So yeah, my one. The other one was a fifteen, so that misses. And the last one will go against Sarah. Eighteen does not hit. Okay. All right, leaf. Uh, drow caught caught in web. Uh, four drow that. Are no longer in the web and attacking their friends. They draw in the back, and Roderick just fell off the ceiling. Uh, you can. To avoid any attacks of opportunity, you would have to disengage, which would be your action. Uh, you could probably move over here next to Syra and then and do a melee attack. Unless you have a, if you're going to cast a spell, you could probably a ring spell. You can do it here. You, you can easily avoid your friends. Mm 
Uh, that will sadly miss. Anything else? Yeah. Lassiter. Roger, you heal for nine. You also feel a slight hunger pain. I mean, that was healing words of bonus action, so if you want... One, if you've got a cantrip you want to cast. And um, which one? All this, okay. So the one in between them. Your your head throbs. Like, ah. Roderick. You're lying on the ground. You just you feel the, a nice healing warmth. And your eyes just shoot open, all red. No, it was just poison damage. It wasn't actual. And you miss, sadly. Try to bite into his shoulder, but uh, the leather that he's wearing is too thick. Uh, d d you're just pretty weak here. Uh, only a con save. All right, give him another right hook. Give him another right hook. Or a left hook. Yeah, you feel really hungry. All right. Uh, having you try to bite him and uh, try to make a couple swings, he says, why don't you stay down? And he 
uh, attacks you twice. Oh, yeah, that's right. First it off, deck save. He's not so restrained. Hey, he, he also shift out of the web. <laughs> and it's just a start of the turn. He's a, he's a draw. Webs aren't a big thing. For He's probably a century or two older than the other, than the other draw that, that he was leading. Uh, he's got one more short. Oh, wait, wait, no, he already did the second one. Ignore that last one. So the six piercing, eight poison. Oh. That's because he's unconscious again. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me not need that. There we go. He's just mostly dead. <laughs> All right, that's his turn. Sarah. Now it. Does the green flame do any extra damage uh, on the main attack? Oh, okay. Check. All right, Haley. Twelve. I mean, that does not make it. How much damage? Six. Nice. A three will not hit. All this is gonna working on the one who's been attacking her. Gonna work on the one attacking her. Couple short sword attacks. Drow's turn. One tell for Eldith. Uh. And... All right, two are attacking Healy. It's advantage. Yes, and that's including the shield of faith. Okay, with the shield of faith. Okay. Got it. Beyond that. And the last one on Syrah. 
Ooh, only six. That's on Syrah. No, 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 no. This is just a normal sword. Oh, uh, you can't save for your concentration on. Just beat Ted. Yeah, you're fine. You're maintaining concentration. Okay, Leaf. Magic stone. I gotcha. Okay, I gotcha. All right, uh, and you're doing the one right in front of you or a different one? Okay, uh, go ahead and make the attack at disadvantage because you were within five feet of it. So just roll twice. Yeah, sadly old miss. It was flying off. Yeah, go ahead. Battle it. Just remember, these are range, and so you could actually be doing this from further back. But that's fine. Go ahead and roll the damage. Now we'll roll. Ah, he's not looking good. Lassiter. The one you healed is now down again. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as you can tell, he's unconscious, whether he's like, like sleeping unconscious sort of thing. You don't know if he's got at zero hit points or from there, you wouldn't re really be able to tell how healthy he necessarily is. And especially with a whole bunch of people in front of you. Are you going to disengage? Okay. So I'm going to say you take one tack about this guy. Oh, you're just standing there? Okay, then. Fine.
I mean, you'd be going through web, so you would you would have to make a deck save. This is starting to get annoying. Uh, go ahead and with disadvantage. Although you miss. <laughs> right, but you have somebody within five feet of you, which still causes disadvantage. Yeah, you miss. All right, Roderick. The guy, the guy uh, that they were carrying, is still kind of unconscious. Um, give me a quick perception check. Okay. Yeah, you meant to save right there. Um, and uh, right next to you uh, while you're fighting this other guy. You know, if he was awake, might be a good ally. Uh, Gage, you feel this sharp pain on your on your cheek as you're slapped, and you wake up. Yep, I will say that's a bonus action considering you're a monk. Uh, also, you kind of feel feel a little tingly sensation as uh, Roderick. You're not as hungry, but you're still hungry. Sure. Okay. Good patient defending. All right, Gage, I need to roll the initiative. Yep. Okay, for some reason that didn't transfer over, but that's okay. Point twelve. No, you're you're six. Yeah, some of them have the settings and set up uh, in uh, the uh, Beyond Twenty is to do the tiebreaker, which gives a point number to so that order can be determined. All right, I'm going to do a quick resort. Get you into the initiative so that was Roderick the warrior I'm very happy that you're up again gonna attack you a couple times disadvantage so nine misses uh but I'm assuming the 22 hits and you go back down. <laughs> uh, here, actually, I know this is going to sound weird, 
But you don't actually go unconscious. You're still there patient defending and your eyes are just glowing bright red. I want you to make me a fang bite attack. A fang bite attack. And you hit. Uh, you you hit the drow warrior because he's within your thing by range. Yeah, so now you're healed for seven. All right. Gage, uh, you wake up, look around, you see uh, you see a drow warrior and uh, this um, monk guy who just takes a bite out of the drow warrior. Uh, and if you look around, you do see a bag and you see your uh, that it looks like it may contain your equipment. And it's right next to you. So you could essentially use your action or you could use an interact with object to grab a weapon and attack with it, but you don't have your armor on. Well, your armor is going to take about 10 minutes to put on. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It will hit. The 22. Yeah, beyond 20's uh, extension. Yep. All right. Use seven points of damage. Yeah, basically this this guy who has absolutely no armor on uh, uh, just took a big chunk out of him. And, and his eyes are glowing red. Possibly somebody you really don't want to mess with. In the meantime, you have a drow. Take with that as you will. He's thick. Brown check bank out. All right. Uh, I think that that's all you had. So next, Syrah. Same guy. That'll hit. And then he's down.
the splash of red or a splash of green fire uh, burns him into in the face. Uh, he's not looking so hot. That draw that you just splashed with fire since he went with it out of his melee range takes an attack of opportunity and misses. All right. Haley. Okay. Mix it. I never read a little bit to come. That all hit. And he's dead. Right. Hold this. Mm. Check this guy in. This is the first one. Ooh, crits the second one. Uh, killing him. Ooh, missed it. That's okay. It is their turn now. There's only two left. Uh, one drink save to try to get out. Fifteen makes it. I'm if I remember correctly. And the other one's gonna attack Haley. And that'll make it. another two. Same amount of damage. Leaf. There are two drow. There's still a big one, which still looks pretty healthy on the other side of the room, or cavern. Eldith? Sure. Nope. Just roll. It's a bonus action. Uh, click cast to mark off the spell slot, and then you may need to click on the uh, die to get the right one. There you go. Yeah, you accidentally twice. Yeah, that's all right. It happens. Getting used to it. Lasseter! No one is threatening you now. And he's got these really long fangs.
You have three. You have a pool of three d sixes, so you can use up to three d three of those to heal somebody. The worst to wear is Roderick. Yeah. I, I think it's like up to a certain maximum, but I think it is the maximum is like three. Fine. On which one? All right. Uh, he deflects that with his shield. Well, this one's a little bit harder to hit <laughs> compared to the other two. All right, Roderick, you're really hungry. Because it did, Roderick, because it did. Trust the DM. You're still very hungry. It just was not enough. I want you to attack. Uh, if you make an attack, make it with advantage. Yes, please. All right, roll me a D20. You heal for two health. Uh, Furia blows. And they're all at advantage, by the way. Oh! Uh, what's your damage die? E4. Okay. You just roll a D4. Roll a 4. Okay. Roll me another D20. Do you heal again for 21 points of the damage? Your eyes go back to normal. Uh, he is still up. You still have this adrenaline rush, so you still have advantage for your remaining fury of blow. All right, 
Roll damage. <laughs> ah, you, you burp. He's going to attack it. He's going to attack you. Uh, misses, uh, but he done crits. <laughs> You're not. You're at one hit point. But your eyes start glowing red again. Gage! Uh, this guy, uh, apparently, that's attacking the drow is kind of scary. Uh, you don't want to be on his bad side, so you might want to attack the guy that he's attacking. <laughs> might want to help him. Uh, he's looking bloodied. Oh, you, you just kind of woke up. You're practically naked. It's a weird situation. Really crazy guy is standing next to you going ape shit. Barehanded. <laughs> Syra. Oh, it's nice. Oh, jeez. All of that's pretty good. That's like max damage on all of them. We got him surrounded. He's not looking good. Haley. Makes it. Right. Well, also roll the damage for that deck save because he takes half, right? One. <laughs> yes, we, yes, we do. So, Syra, you're you're. Cyril, you are now at advantage on the on the uh, draw elite warrior. So, yep, where now? Well, you now know. That doesn't. It. Dodges just out of the way. Cut off one of his long. Cut off some of his hair. His stereotypical drow. He has long white silver hair. He just kind of like dodges, and your axe goes right through it. Bubbles trails the axe. Anything else? All this gonna spin around. Back in that one. And then it's from three. Got a second attack. It's again. And the drow drops. Uh, she was just distracting him. That's what it was. 
I mean, Dramix deck save doesn't make it become restrained again. Nope. Leaf. There's one more drow and one more beefy drow that doesn't look like he's looking pretty good. Okay, I need to make a deck save. Well, you're in, in the web, so you have to make a deck save where you become restrained. Yeah, just it. Yeah, just don't move anywhere in that box. Yeah, sure. You're lucky for thirty feet. I think you're within. Hey, that's all right. Uh, I believe you only have, have, uh, I don't think you have any bonus action attacks. Oh, that's a cantrip. So as, so you can use the magic stone as a cantrip and attack one. And then, um, the other one can be whatever is the action. Yeah. So you can do both. Or, or depending on, or depending on the type shapeshift, and that's where they get their weapons. They become an animal. Okay, it's all right. Want to attack for your magic stone? Yeah. Okay. And that sadly misses. Like this, this darkness, it's just a weird area. You're more used to a place where there's sun and there, you haven't seen sun this entire time. So. Lassiter. Uh, Roderick said full health. Oh, no, you're not anymore. I'm sorry. I forgot. That's right. Never mind. Ignore me. You're now at six hit points.
The red-headed girl. It's okay. You, you rolled the 22. It's fine. Roll the damage. All right, he's dead. All right, Roderick, feeling a little better, but you're hungry. No, not with advantage. Because you sated your hunger shortly. Oh, okay, yeah. Never mind. I totally forgot. I'm thinking of one reason you would have advantage, and you're thinking of a different reason. Uh, but it hits. Yeah. All right. How do you want to do this? You, uh, you swig your foot up, uh, doesn't like it. You know how Jean Claude Van Damme does this, it can really do the splits? It's kind of like that, but vertically. Uh, he slams his foot to the ground, uh, into to his head, knocking him to the ground. I'm assuming you like crunch it, try to crunch his head. Wait. And before the life fully drains from him, you go go in and just grab his throat and just suck the remaining life energy out of him. And here's where we're going to take a break. And they be maybe because it's a matter of beverage. So, so, so a five minute break. <laughs> so you're back.
think uh, uh, Roderick is playing a uh, Drug Gordon in another game we're in. Where I play. Yeah. Sadly, uh, we haven't played that for three weeks because our it was it's every other week, and of course the other week was Thanksgiving weekend. So yeah, yeah. And then he'll finally join the game. In the meantime, I got to play that. That I was there at the first session. I got to play my. Uh, uh, Artificer uh, Nuestro Dos Santos Encantado uh, Battlesmith um, I haven't gone too far into it we just had session zero essentially so uh, I actually was like look I'll play in your campaign and I want to uh, if you make my character and so he made my character I made a few tweaks to it after he made it but the overall concept and everything he made and now i'm just playing it up did you see it see my did you see him nestle's log in the in dnt death But you still ended up having a adventure. Things happen. You haven't get to you haven't gotten to meet Hugo. Hugo. No, my uh, roommates. Uh, they met the uh, uh, Steve. The uh, E. I was just saying that. Hex is a master. Uh, apparently his first favorite is just someone who just bullshits and doesn't really prepare that much for anything. <laughs> Like just now. Yeah. Well, I'm like, well, I'm not just going to say, hey, you were a prisoner too and you escaped with them. Yay. Well, you were a prisoner, but this time they saved you. I said, well, thank you to welcome them. Uh, uh, basically, you were on the surface uh, doing what. Uh, you were off doing something on your own, and all of a sudden you feel the prick, and you just go unconscious, as in asleep. Um, yeah. For these slaves, they, they, no, you would have been been told you are here, to be slaves for a for the drow. I don't know if that's how the draw would t actually speak, but. Nope.
I was missing some people's videos. All right. We'll call it sounds like everybody's back, so. Nope. Uh, I do not require it for anything. Encouraged, but not required. I have that. I've had this camera for probably about uh, a decade. And it's the one that I use for the, for this is like the best camera. I got another one just because of doing it with the uh, doing Cubs Out Loud. Um, I couldn't. It wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to use this camera as, on both stream as well as Skype. So, uh, so they never got to see me, but I could see them. <laughs> so we ended up. Uh, so I ended up getting a second camera, just a second cheap camera, and it kind of sucks actually, but it does what it needs to do, so I don't care. <laughs> yeah. All right. So well, let's uh, uh get back into the to the action, gauge. You've just are starting to look around. You're in some sort of cave. There's some bio bioluminescent fungi uh, on the wall. So there's a little bit of light in here. Here, and uh, you just had a party start attacking a bunch of drow that was around you. You are currently in your small clothes. Um, and... Uh, this other human comes up to you uh, to kind of check out your wounds and see if you're okay. Blaster, Blaster, also make me a sleight of hand check. Okay. Uh, he has a shield, the short sword. Come on. Let me actually check some out. Yeah, everything seems to be in place. Ooh.
It starts getting a little darker. Uh, who who is searching the Drow Warrior? Sarah, uh, can, can you roll me a d10? Uh, you do find some uh, money on him. Uh, 1,300 copper pieces and electrum pieces. Stool uh, com comes up to you, shakes his, he shakes his head, and you end up uh, involuntarily inhaling his spores. You're in your head, head. Are you okay? You look scary. <laughs> well, that's why I said you involuntarily. It's just kind of like. The spores kind of like went into your nose. Stool hugs your leg. Stool hugs your leg. By the way, this is stool for gauge. It's a little mushroom. The, this this little mushroom man comes up to you, Gage. Uh, uh, spores are still in the air, and you had acts, uh, involuntarily inhaled them in. But you hear in your head, Hi, I'm Stool. Who are you? Hi, Gage. We will help. They're taking me home, but I'm assuming they'll help you get out of the Underdark. Yes, home with the Drow and the Duragar. And my people, the Mykonids. A little mushroom guy uh, ends up hugging your leg. Basically, basically the direction you were coming from. So you guys were kind of going along the same route. Oh, you got you you get you guys came from you were coming. Your direction was coming through here. They were coming through here.
Kurt Russ. Will Peter will, will comment? Yes, that is the direction that we can go to to, to uh, Drac Crackle School. After stopping at Crackle School, we can go past towards Neverdike Grove. Yeah. Uh, not much to really find here in the, the dock, unless you kind of run into it. I'm more of a city person. Like, is there any specific thing that you tried to find? Yeah, sure. Ooh. There we go. Look, I was just dragging the token onto the onto the map, and of course, the image is bigger than normal. So, I played a Ledger sort of sword and shield. <laughs> then my switch was stolen, and then I had to start again on <laughs> sword and shield. All right, off you go. I need uh, survive the checks from anybody who is trying to navigate. Let me get you. Let me get you. Actually, uh, 
Hold on, let me actually. Uh, I have. Okay. This is actually, it's actually the, uh, uh, same, uh, uh, image that another, uh, a player, one of my other campaigns is using. What's the name of your owl? S O V A. Uh, I actually got you an owl that that should be in your journal now. It's not the same. Uh, I'm gonna work on replacing the. The token. I just feel like you might like this token better than the old token. All right. Here we go. I see a problem here. Save. Here we are. Now it also has a uh, stat block, which should be in your journal, Sarah. Mm hmm. All right, so uh, to help navigate the tunnels, I need uh, survival checks from Holly, Eldith, or he, Eldith, because she's helping draw things. You have advantage because Lupito knows the way. And you're near the front. Ooh. And are, do you think you're moving at a slow pace, normal pace, or are you trying to do a fast pace? As you know, the people at Vel Falcon Valve were trying to pursue you.
Or right, we'll be back there with you so that you have some muscle. And the day seems to go, the rest of the day seems to go by uneventfully. And you feel free to, actually, you need, you probably need to do some for you. Got some food. Well, you have good berry and water, so no, you don't. Okay. So with that survival, the survival, yeah, uh, but uh, well, you won't need to with the good berries. Mm -hmm. And with those survival checks, I, I think you can easily find a good place to uh, sit down or bed down and uh, sleep. And this is more of time you feel like you should sleep. <laughs> because there is no day, there is no night. It is always night here in the Underdark. You pass through zones. Yes, please. You don't sleep well. Constant throbbing headache. You're
Wir haben mehr DG. Mohammed. Ja. Yeah, you're, this is this is all while you're resting. I I, I encourage social interaction encounters. R Roderick, uh, Roderick never. Uh, eat the new the good berries. I, I I would think you might still need water. Blaster. Oh, wait, dagger. She just constantly is casting prestidigitation to manifest a fork. Because I think the I think those manifestations only last for a turn or something like that. Yeah, prestidigitation. She only needs like. Quite a bit. Especially with the wild magic sorcerer who has, who's whatever he sneezes, he casts press digitation. All right, everybody uh, has a long rest, but during that long rest, last year I need you to roll me a d100. Roll me a d100. It's last year. Okay, cool. Y'all gradually wake up. Roderick's probably doing squats. And you're ready to move on to the next day. I need a, let's see, one, two, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Lasser, I want you to roll me a d20. Yeah, 
And how fast are you you traveling? And try maybe a faster pace. I mean, you're not foraging or anything, so. Uh, as a group, this one you can decide. All right. Uh, now I need uh, those who who are who are doing survival checks, navigation. I need you to uh, roll me a, a survival check. Yep. Anybody who would probably be near the front. So all that's Holly and. The uh, drow who keeps calling himself a uh, normal wealth. Here's a reminder of the marching orders. Of Prince Darendel, not, not Prince Darendel. Ah, uh, sir. Uh, he usually keeps himself. Um. Uh, he he does tell you that he knows some of these tunnels, but he hasn't been that far from Menzo Baird's end. But he really liked to go to there was a light grove and take little stool home.
Like, what specifically do you Well, uh, I'm afraid I'm, I'm not following you. Yes, there's a lot of fungi around here. Some of them poisonous, some of them are edible. We use the Zerk word for, for uh, just as you would with the, like, trees up on the surface. So we make furniture from it. And you know, All right. Uh, you're able to find a, a good place to bed down. People take watch. I need another D20. We'll move down the line. Syrah, I need your roll me. And you have a nice, lovely. Evening, last year I needed to make me a one hundred a D one hundred roll. Um, Lassiter is curled up in a ball, and feels like he's. It, it looks like he might be having a nightmare or something. Or he's in some sort of pain. Do you wake him up? Uh, Lasseter, you're you can barely open your eyes. But you can get up, but you're very sluggish. Uh, take that point of exhaustion. Uh, on D and D Beyond, you just uh, click into the uh, conditions, and then set your level for exhaustion, which is at the bottom. Here you are. You can take off the poisoned. Although in some sense you are poisoned. <laughs> so you have disadvantage on skill checks. Everything aches. I would say that everything seems really bright right now that you're in the Underdark, which is probably a godsend.
<laughs> and just leave last year behind and <laughs> leave. Uh, go ahead and roll me a medicine check. All right, click on medicine in your skill. Uh, not exactly sure. I mean, considering the last few days, you know, there doesn't seem to be anything. It's not like he ate any of the, the mushrooms that have been around because he's a big guy, he's a big good berry and Nice clean water thanks to Lasseter's great, great uh, water spell. All right. Uh, all right, Leaf, roll me a, a D20. Down the on D and D Beyond in the uh, lower left hand corner, there's a little dice. You click it, it'll give you a menu of different dice. Yeah, click on that D20 at the top. And then click roll. Uh... Two. Uh, you travel through through more caves. You get into a cavern which is full of just this bioluminescence, light of many multiple colors. Lassiter, your eyes hurt because there's so many different lights. Uh, but it's actually very pretty. It is a very large cavern, uh, goes on for actually a couple miles. There's various different fungi that are around. And eventually you can find a place where the light dims and you can find a good little place to rest. The day passes without any encounters. Uh, how fast are you going today? And at fast pace. You could say that you would, uh, but Peter would say, uh, if we've made uh, good progress, we should be getting much closer, much a little bit faster. Uh, we could probably slow down at this. At least for a day or two, maybe another one after that. Yeah, restful.
uh, Laster Romeo D100. As you go, take another rest. Everybody's just rolling no encounters. That's why this part has been pretty, pretty boring. <laughs> so. The, yeah, you decided to go the one that's about a month away. <laughs> Uh, so, Laster, while you are sleeping, um, you wake up, you look around, it looks, it looks like a barracks, and you see a little dwarf sitting on the bed across from you. Says, ah, there you are, laddie. How's your head doing? <laughs> Got yourself a little lost in the underdark, didn't you? No, I'm not dying. It's a goblin draw. You can do it. Ah, here. Let me get. Let me give you a little help, laddie. When you see this, uh, his hand turn golden scales, and he taps you on the, sh pats you on the shoulder, and uh, you fall. Everything goes black. You wake up, and your headache's gone. Yeah, you're 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 feeling better. I'd no longer exhausted. Roderick, you notice um, a new, like, amulet around Lasseter's neck, and it has, like, a gold tail? It, that that gold scale uh, amulet just wasn't there yesterday. Uh, there is a faint abjuration magic coming off of it. And with the morning, well, 
with the rest period over, uh, you guys could continue on. Gage, roll me a d20. All right, moving at a normal pace. And it needs some um, navigation checks. Those in front, uh, roll me a survival check. Leaf spots some um, uh, interesting fungi and briefly walks off the path, but quickly be like, oh, everybody else is going a different way. <laughs> and follows. Uh, a little bit harder to find a good place to sleep. But uh, you do find a good one to play, make a rest the, in the evening. And Roderick, uh, well, uh, before you guys go to sleep, is there anything you want to do during any of these marches before you actually go to sleep? Mm -hmm. It's like all the symptoms of withdrawal is just beard. And Roderick. Anybody else want to do something? They're, they're doing just fine. Mm hmm? Obviously, during these days, you take rests every couple of hours or so, especially um, with stool, probably trying to walk along. He is kind of little, so...
You're, you're in the middle of nowhere. I mean, there's there's a whole bunch of different fungi that are around. Like in the light areas, he made a few dark spots, but that's about it. All Roderick does. He's considerate. In that method. All right, Roderick, I need you to roll me a d20. No, they 13. Night goes by uneventfully. Wow, this is the most boring part of this this game. <laughs> is the travel and everybody rolling to avoid a random, which avoids the random encounter. Uh Bupito in the morning, uh looking around as uh or in the whenever you wake up, I can't say morning, there's no morning here. And he says, uh we made a good time. Uh, I would say we probably have another 20 days and we get back to Krakow's Luke. Luke. Uh, Shushar will say... Uh, if we had gods from via the Dark Lake, we probably would have been able to stop at my home at Sloopadoop. No, we went to different, different route. You should all have a hand out on the map of the Inner Dark if you want. Yeah, but you could have gone to uh, Sloopadoop and then taken a boat across the Dark Lake to get to Grackles. But you're taking the land route instead. Mm-hmm. Sloopadoop. You're you're somewhere along the south side of the Dark Lake. Heading towards Grackle Stew. Vulcan Valve. I mean, Netherlight Grove is just northwest of Grackleston. So if anything, you would be you would end up going to Grackleston. Uh, 
I mean, just wait. Maybe you'll end up going to Blindenstone after you drop off drop off stool at Never Life Light Grove. Ronward Ho, I need a uh knee tiny roll for him lesser. Right. Look, you guys are rolling this. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Uh, you hit, start hitting a, a series of tunnels uh, where you basically have to start going single file. Uh, it is dimly lit by some... Osferent sent uh lichen something I'm not exactly sure what it is. Only because I gave her five me. My feet. Uh, no, uh, uh, he lead it. Also, does not have dark vision. You can kind of see. I would like everyone to roll me a. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Ouch. Yeah, everybody. Woohoo. Uh, this mysterious like in and being so close. Um Haley and Roderick. Yeah, it's not about breeding. I need you to roll me a D100 for both the characters.
Uh, Roderick, uh, which one is for which? Okay. Haley suddenly stops. And she just stops. She doesn't move. doesn't say anything. Roderick, uh, you start babbling nonsense. So Holly right now is doing nothing. While Roderick suddenly is just babbling. Just nonsense. Yeah, you can probably like try to squeeze people people by. Uh, you do notice that her eyes are just glazed over. Oh, he went to you? Uh, you seem fine. It's just whenever you speak, it just comes out as gibberish. And, and you just, even when you intentionally are trying to not speak, you're still babbling. And her eyes are just glazed over. Just, she's, it's like she's staring out into to space and just kind of like a little haze over her eyes. I would, I, I would, those are pretty bright. <laughs> 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 they, they are pretty bright. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, or if you, you, even if you add like some sort of stick or something, you can do, do pretty much the same thing. Her eyes are dilated. Uh, she just suddenly stopped moving. Nothing. Nothing happens. She, she doesn't say anything. She's just not doing anything. Her head head turns. <sighs> Haley, can you at least move forward? And she starts walking forward. Uh, stool comes up and says, yes. Uh, uh, Eldith told her to 
to walk forward. And she's walking forward now. I'll catch up to her. And starts running up. Shakes her, her shrimps. Uh, and did you see, see Mike and Ed following along with, with Holly as she's just continuing to walk forward? And then all of a sudden she stops and then turns her head down the stool. I don't know, she says. She she comes back and says, uh, every time I tell her to do something, she does it. I don't think that'll work. Too abstract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Roderick, whatever Roderick tries to say just comes out as gibberish. Uh, still, still walks up to 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 Holly. Looks up at 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 her, and um, and then all of a sudden, Holly starts continuing down. Uh, a few minutes later, uh, Holly or Haley. Uh, suddenly stops just for a moment and shakes her head and kind of looks around. It's like, what oh, happened? A couple of minutes later, uh, Roderick uh, stops gibberishing or babbling. Uh, Sarah, Sarah looks a little bit closer at the lichen and says, oh, Sarah is fused with Ferris res. It's a mystical substance being too long exposure and can cause some short term madness. Uh, Holly and, or Haley and Roderick, I need you to mark down, uh, a one insanity. In space sanity. After a while, uh, you get out of the uh, in the area with this sort of lichen, and um, you're able to find a place to bed down. As everybody's probably getting a little bit tired. <laughs> Obviously, I can't say it's nighttime because, well, it's the under dark. And as you, uh, yeah, as you are bedding down, we will call it for the night here. I am figuring out this travel shit. This is great. Some of it's boring because you're not rolling encounters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know I probably should have uh, rolled for the rest of the rest of the crew that is with you, but uh, I'm too lazy. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm just gonna let the actual PCs get grow, be driven insane. All right.
They're just really good. Uh, thank you, thank you everybody for watching.